Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install this FR Sky R9 Slim long range 900 MHz radio receiver module onto your flight controller. In my previous videos guys, I have already done the unboxing and in-depth review of this radio receiver module guys. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. In this video guys, I will be using the connection type 1 to connect this onto my flight controller guys. This uses the S bus and S port guys so as to be able to come communicate with your flight controller guys so guys if you are new to assembling drone ensure that you watch this video till then so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before we can start installing this radio receiver onto the flight controller let me walk you through the connection and the pin diagram that it has as you can see guys it has vcc and ground so those are the ports guys that I'm going to use to power this module up and then S port guys this is your smart port guys for the telemetry and then S bus in and S bus out is that is what going on to the UART that I have on to the flight controller S bus in is going to the TX port guys and S bus out is going to the RX port of my flight controller in addition to that guys it has an RSSI out guys that is the RSSI signal guys that is going to go out onto the RS port of my flight controller so that is how I'm going to connect this radio transmitter onto my flight controller in addition to that guys I have this bind button onto my radio receiver and this LED signal so as to give me an indication of the status of the radio connection guys so that is what you have in addition to that guys onto the back side it has a connection type 2 guys which I am not going to use in this video to connect it to the flight controller so guys I will be using connection type 1 so as to be able to connect this radio receiver onto my flight controller now guys let's quickly see onto the flight controller what are the pins and ports available so guys this is the flight controller that I have installed in my previous video onto this drone frame this is pdb version 2 f7 flight controller guys if you have not seen those videos guys i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out here on this flight controller guys here you can see i have r3 and t3 so t3 will be my telemetry port so that will transmit the telemetry onto my s port of my radio receiver guys and then I have T1 and R1 which is the port that I'm going to use for S bus in and S bus out and then I'm going to power it up using 4V5 and ground so as to be able to power this up whenever you connect the USB port onto this flight controller at the time of configuration. So which is also something really nice guys so you will be able to bind this radio receiver without connecting it to the external battery that you have so it can be powered up using the usb power itself so it will be easier to bind and configure the radio receiver in your firmware so which is why guys i'm going to power it up using 4v5 and then here guys you can see it has an rs port so your rssi signal which is coming out of your radio receiver guys will be connected onto this port so that is how guys i'm going to connect my radio receiver onto this flight controller let's quickly start with the soldering so guys before we can start with the soldering here as you know from my previous videos it came with two type of jumper connection guys for connection type 1 and connection type 2 guys since i'm going to use connection type 1 onto my radio receiver guys i'm going to use this connection type 1 jumper connection to connect it onto this radio receiver so let's quickly connect this here ensure that guys you align this properly so that your connection is secure and tight so that it does not have a loose connection so here let me walk you through the color coding that you have for connection type 1 so your red wire is going to be your vcc and the black wire is going to be the ground so that is how you are going to connect it and then guys here for s port guys here you have green wire which is coming out so the green wire guys is your s port out for the telemetry which is going to go on to the t3 pin of my flight controller and then you have white which is your s bus in which is going to the t1 port of my flight controller and then you have gray 
which is my S bus out which is going to my R1 pin of my flight controller and then you have this orange wire which is your RSSI out signal which is going to the RS pin of my flight controller guys so that is how I'm going to connect it. So the wire guys which is yellow and blue which is your TX and RX port of this radio transmitter guys which I'm not going to use. So let's quickly connect these wires and solder it onto your flight controller. Now guys, let's quickly start with the soldering. So first thing is we'll go and install the S port, which is your green wire. It is going to go on to the T3 port that you have here. So let's quickly solder it to T3. So my smart port is now connected. Now let's quickly connect the RSSI first. So your RSSI is your orange wire guys. So this RSSI will go here. So guys, my RSSI is also connected. Now let's quickly connect your ground, which is your black wire. So my black wire is also connected. Let's connect the red wire on to 4V5. So my 4V5 is also connected guys. Now next thing is your S bus out, which is your gray wire. So S bus out is going to go on to RX pin. And then you have the white wire, which is your S bus in onto your TX one pin. So that is how I'm going to connect it. Let's quickly connect TX1. So this is it guys. Your blue and yellow wire is your TX and RX wire which are going to be in no connection guys. So I'm not going to connect it. So your connection of your radio receiver guys is now complete. Now let's quickly install this radio receiver onto your drone frame guys. So guys let's quickly do that. So guys, here you can see I have already installed the radio receiver guys. Now let me walk you through on how did I do it. So here you can see guys, the antennas here are onto the arms guys, like this horizontally guys, so that whenever you install the propeller guys, here onto the, your motor guys, it is not going to be interfering on with your propeller guys, so it is going to stay safe. It is onto the top side of the arm guys, so whenever you crash guys, it is not going to damage these antennas as well guys, so which is also something really nice guys. As you can see guys, these antennas are more or less like uh, 90 degree to each other guys, which is also the required way of installing the antennas, so that they are more or less at 90 degree angle to each other so which is also something really nice guys uh, so what i have done guys this is my radio receiver guys which i have zip tied onto the top side frame of this drone guys so as to be able to access the button for binding right from the top which is also something really required guys so that i do not have to open the screws when i finish the drone guys so it is still accessible right from the top so as to be able to bind and flash the firmware without deassembling the drone and then you can see guys these are the wires going on to the inside of the front side metal frame onto the arms guys and then i will put a tape here just to have a nicer look guys so that the antenna stays at its place and moving these wires from inside part of the frame guys gives that an extra protection i have not removed the slack or cut short the wire guys so that guys whenever i have to deassemble this drone for maintenance or repairs guys i will be able to easily remove the cover of the drone guys so as to be able to access all the wires inside which is why guys i have had this long wire connected onto the flight controller and these long wires of the antenna so that you can remove this top cover without problem guys the same I had done in my previous video with the buzzer guys which I installed on the top so that I have the flexibility to install and remove this cover and access to the wire guys inside 
super easily so that is how we are going to install all of these component guys right here inside this drone frame guys in my future videos guys i will also be telling you how to bind this radio transmitter onto your radio receiver guys and how to do the firmware update and also guys how to configure this radio receiver into the firmware of the flight controller guys so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos so this is it guys this concludes this video i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies